everybody, my name is Sosha, this is Wendy, and today we're going to show you how to draw mushroom buddies. First we're going to need our paper, next we're going to need our pen. Thank you Wendy, now we can get started. So today we're going to be drawing some mushroom buddies or mushroom friends. We're going to start off with the grass first and what you're going to do is down towards the bottom of, the, of your paper in the middle we're going to draw grass at different heights and we're going to have them go in different directions. That's one patch of grass for my one mushroom. We're going to draw the other. Now you can do just zigzags if you want to, but this makes it look a little more realistic. It makes it very edgy and very unique. So next what we're going to do is the stalk or the stem. And we're going to start up towards the middle of our paper and we're going to draw a nice curved line going down and in. So it curves to the top and then goes around and back in. We're going to follow that same direction down and then out a little bit and make it a little bit wider towards the bottom. Next we're going to draw an oval shape. We're going to start on the side of our stem. We're going to come out, around, and back in. We're going to draw the head of our mushroom and we're going to start at the side of our drawn oval. Come up, over, and down. Nice big tall uh, curved shape, almost like a big hill. We want enough space to draw on our face and any kind of pattern you want to draw in. So next we're going to draw the design on the inside. We're going to do curved lines. So I'm going to start from the middle top here. Curve, bring it down, curve, bring it down, curve, bring it down, curve. Switch sides. So it almost looks like a peppermint patty, right? Now I'm going to put in my little face. I'm going to draw two circles for the eyes. So one on one side and one on the other. And in the middle, I'm going to draw a little wiggly mouth and it's going to be open. He's going to be so excited. I'm going to draw in a little circle for the pupil. And if you want to, you can go ahead and color that in. Next, I'm going to add a detail towards the top. And now this, you can make your own. I'm going to do it the way I'd like it to look. If you'd like to follow along, you may. If you want to create your own, you may. So what I'm going to do is on the side here, I'm going to start and I'm going to come up towards the top. I'm going to come back down. And I'm almost making little petal shapes. Like so. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to draw a little half circle at the top and I'm going to draw another circle and a smaller one and a little smaller one. I'm going to do the same thing on the side but they're only going to be, they're going to be cut off. So I'm going to do a half circle that's even smaller so it's very thin. I'm going to do another one, another one that's smaller and one that's even smaller. So it's pretty much just drawing this over again, but it's going to be cut off. So thin, I'm going to draw that half circle, a smaller half circle and a smaller half circle. Last, I'm going to draw something for the stem. I'm going to do curved lines in stripes. And I want to make sure they're curved because the stem is round. So I want to give it the look that my stem is still round. So there is one little mushroom buddy. Let's go ahead and draw his little friend. His little friend is going to be a little taller. 
So instead of starting around the same height, we're going to come up a little bit. And we're going to draw a nice curved line going out and back in. You're going to make a little rounded top. You're going to go in and back out. And remember, it's going to be thinner and thicker at the bottom. Next, we're going to draw our oval shape like before. So we're going to come and we're going to draw our oval shape. Now I don't want to get too close and share a line, so try and make sure there's enough of a space or overlap. So then you'll touch the line, you'll pretend like you're still drawing, and then come back around if you need to, if your body is a little closer than mine. Again, we're going to make that little hill shape at the top. Nice big hill shape. This time, for this one's face, I'm going to make it a little bit different. I'm going to make him winking. So I'm going to make a little line like this. And I'm going to draw another one coming inside. So it's the same one. I'm going to color it in. So it almost looks like a little arrow. I'm going to draw another round eye on the other side. And I'm going to draw another little pupil, so I can color that in black. And then he's happy as well, so we're going to make a little wiggle and an open mouth. So look how happy he is. Such a little cutie. This time, for his head, I'm going to make them stripes. And again, just like down here, I'm going to make them curved. Because it's curving up, that's the way I want my curve to go. I don't want to go down because it's not going to fit with his face. If you want to make it go the other way, you may. Just make sure that you watch your lines in your face. So I'm going to come right here, make a nice curved line. Nice curved line. Like so. So now I have one, two, three stripes. I'm going to make wiggles for the underneath portion. Make it a little bit different. And lastly, for his stem, I'm going to do polka dots. So let's go ahead and with my polka dots, I'm going to have them different sizes. And some are going to be going off of the stem off of the stem and I'll fill it in with a little one, a medium sized, maybe I do a very very large one, another little one, a medium, maybe I do another big one, a few to fill it in, small, 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 like so. And there we have it, our lovely little mushroom buddies. Thank you everybody for watching our video today. We hope you've learned something and you have something to show your friends. My name is Sosha, this is Wendy, and until next time, bye bye!